Uh, we're ready to begin EOY4 reporting and certification special education. But, so we always start with identifying the target audience. And so this training um, is designed to provide, uh, to be a benefit to both the student information system data coordinator and the special education data system coordinator. Um, this submission requires data specifically from the SEDS. However, uh, the students, the students with disabilities that we're reporting, their data lies in both systems. So that uh, cooperation is very important. Uh, the objective for today's training is first uh, to help you identify the data that's going to be reported, the key stakeholders involved in the submission, um, in that you would be developing or exhibiting data leadership skills. The second objective is to give you the ability or to assist in the, you developing the ability to be able to perform the EOY4 submission based on an internal set schedule considering staff availability and competing priorities. That skill is related or the skills related to that would be project management. Hopefully that you understand the importance of your own internal responsibilities and competing priorities. Uh, this CalPads timeline, considering system functionality, your own schedule, and target a date outside of CalPads in which you would like to be done and work towards that. And also develop a contingency. So we'll, we'll talk about tools um, that help you with that, like CalPads calendar, uh, checklist in the user manual, so on and so forth. Ultimately, in the submission process requires you to have the ability to resolve certification errors, uh, look at your reports with analytical mindfulness, and identify if, they if you have a complete data submission and if your numbers are reasonable, right? You have to be able to critically think your way through the submission. You have to make sure, you have to have some understanding of the data being reported. That's why the Special education system data coordinators are so important because most of your CalPads administrators are, uh, work primarily in the student information system and may not be uh, intimately familiar with the data related to special education reporting. So the two of you have to work together. Certification errors might be where the expertise of your CalPads coordinator comes into play and can assist uh, with the special education submission. And then we want you to be able to analyze uh, your reports. We want, to, we want at the end of every training cycle for you to be able to assess the submission process, decide if it was uh, fruitful or too much of a struggle, uh, and think about the sources of the data. You want to be able to think about the ecosystem as a whole. Um, in this case, for end of year four, you have two uh, local systems submitting data for your su students. How well is that data married? whether uh, conflicts between the two different information systems, and how does this information that is in those systems uh, provide or give you a leverage in which you could assist your students? You know, it's not just submitting data to the federal government and the state government. It's really the data that we have in our systems. How do we make decisions that benefit the students? So those would be our objectives. So this is the agenda. It's uh, just to give you a highlight of how we're going to go through today's training. Uh, we you typically start with the overview, detail some important dates and background, um, some resources. Then we talk about in this training, um, this key field of the data submission. I try to emphasize the difference between EOI4 and, and, uh, and Fall 1. And then Kyron will demonstrate uh, the certification process, talk about the new functionality that's soon to be released. And then we'll conclude everything recounting some of the key points with the wrap up. Um, we're targeting this training um, to conclude in an hour and a half. Uh, we've done it, I think, once before, and it was right about an hour and a half. And we're going to try to take a break at about the 45 minute mark. So uh, if you feel, if you'd be so kind to remind us about in 40 minutes, break in five minutes or something like that, because sometimes we run afoul or run long. <laughs> 